A child victim, a mother accused, people across South Dakota watched closely as the case against Deborah Jenner unfolded in the 1980s. Now, decades later, Jenner will soon walk free. Tonight, we are taking a look back at this high-profile investigation, the trial, and what led up to her parole. Just before 9 a.m. on April 5th, 1987, Deborah Jenner called 911. Minutes later, authorities arrived at this Huron home and discovered three-year-old Abby Lynn's body in her bed. She had been stabbed 70 times. Court documents say while Deborah and her husband were at the hospital with investigators, family members were inside the home cleaning up the crime scene. As the situation unfolded, neighbors were on edge. God only knows I didn't expect to have it happen right across from me. Two days after their daughter's death, Deborah and her husband went in for questioning. When asked if she killed Abby, Deborah said, quote, I don't remember, and quote, I didn't do this, but I could have psyched out during the night. Deborah also took a polygraph test, which showed her answers were deceptive. Two months later, the attorney general announced there was a suspect. I'm not at liberty to disclose uh, who that person is. And a grand jury decided there was enough evidence for the suspect to face charges. In September, five months after her daughter's death, Deborah Jenner pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder and manslaughter. Her trial began in February of 1988. Deborah's lawyers claimed someone from a party next door came into the home and killed Abby. But jurors didn't believe the story. They found Deborah guilty and she was sentenced to life in prison. It wasn't long before the appeals began. In 1998, Deborah took her case all the way to the South Dakota Supreme Court, claiming DNA evidence would clear her name. But the justices refused to allow DNA tests on hair found in Abby's hands. In 2003, then-Governor Bill Janklow cut Jenner's sentence to 100 years after Deborah admitted to him that she murdered Abby. More than a dozen parole hearings have followed. Then, just last week, her parole was granted. Deborah Jenner's final parole hearing did not get a lot of attention. The board did not post it in an online agenda. We'll take a closer look at that tonight at 6. Plus, we have a statement from Jenner's attorney.